give only asking according to St. Matthew 7 7. Three ways to give the tidings, offerings, or other contributions, such as a gift to the church, our pastor, etc. Send by email. Amen. You can send, well, actually, sale or cash app. And um, mail, you can mail it to 1801 Emerson, Evanston, Illinois. And um, on our program, you will see where the uh, sites and the apps information so you can do that, so you can send it to us. Blessings to our listeners and viewing audience. Our praise team is coming with a selection. We thank you and we're glad to have you and hope you enjoy our 86th year anniversary celebration. Thank you. God bless. I stand before you to impart praise team comments. Stand before you to give the church history. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mother Mary Moore was given the name by the Holy Spirit in 1935 to call the church that has been established at 17, 1710 Dodge Avenue in Evanston, Illinois. The Springfield Baptist Church. The late Reverend J. Perry was elected the first pastor of this church that was established in a small house. Pastor Perry was a well-educated man that held several degrees. Pastor Perry decided to resign in 1940. The service we carried on the following associates, ministers who are all gone to be with the Lord. Amen? Amen. There was Reverend Carver, Reverend C. Lane, Reverend J. White. The membership declined to only 18 members, but God heard the prayers of the righteous. April 20th, 1941, Easter, the late Reverend L. M. Getter became Geter, I apologize, Geter became the second pastor of Springfield Baptist Church. Pastor Geter accepted the position knowing the church could not pay him in a substantial amount. The first love of Pastor Geter. Pastor Geter. The first love offering given to him of $12. He returned it to purchase coal for the use of the church. Amen. Pastor Jeter. Jeter. <laughs> Pastor Jeter, amen? amen. <laughs> Pastor Jeter was humble, a worker, great leader, and a visionary. Pastor Jeter changed the name of Springfield Missionary Baptist Church in 1943. And it was incorporated on the church chart. The Lord gave Pastor Jeter a vision to build a tabernacle that would serve as the lighthouse for God's people. Pastor Jeter, Jeter, Amen. What's the Pastor Jeter <laughs> shared this vision with the Springfield family, and the people had a mind to to work. Nehemiah four and six. Large sacrifices, pledges, and donations were given to purchase the lot at 1801 Emerson Street in the great city of Elliston, Illinois, yes. which is our present site now. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes. Pastor Gator, his wife, and this late Ruth Gator, along with the entire Springfield family, by his side. And the late Mayor Ingram removed from the first shovel, removed the first shovel of dirt to pave the way for the direction of the new edifice of July 7th, 1946. The foundations was laid and the new edifice was, which is now the basement, was completed in 1948. Springfield March from 1710 Dodge Avenue to 1801 Emerson Street to worship in the new edifice. Springfield began broadcasting a dramatic radio choir in 1949 featuring Pastor L. M. Gavin. Jeter. <laughs> the, the late pastor, Louis Booty, Booty? Body. Body. <laughs> and the Greater Harvest Missionary Baptist Church Radio Choir agreed to be our featured guest in a concert to help raise funds, complete the first edition to our edifice. The first edition was completed on February 1st, 
1956. We marched into our newly built sanctuary ready to worship God for what he has done. The Springfield family continued to grow thanks to the Holy Spirit and the consistent leaders. A parking lot was purchased at the corner of Emerson and Dodge in 1960, and the following auxiliary was organized. Senior and Junior Usher Board, Senior and Junior Nurses Board, Senior and Junior Missionary Group, Gospel Choir Number 1 and 2, the Junior Choir, the Mayoral Chorus, the Courtesy Club, the Utility Club, the Willing Workers, and the Mayfile Club. Everybody. <laughs> the church continued to grow, and there was an immediate need for more space. The second edition was added, extended the entire edifice back of the alley in 1968. After 34 years of faithful service, work, and dedication, Pastor Gitter decided to resign as pastor of this great church. The heart of the Springfield was saddened, and the prayer warriors began to seek the face of the Lord. The late Reverend Jerome Brown was elected the third pastor of Springfield Missionary Baptist Church in March 1975. Pastor Brown ordained 12 deacons, and on December 11, 1977, we burned the church mortgage along with new wall-to-wall -wall carpeting installed, pews and organs. Pastor Brown organized another missionary group called the Phoebe Circle in 1978. Yeah. He ordained four preachers between November of 1980 and March of 1982. They are as follows. Reverend James Lane, Reverend Larry Edwards, Reverend Georgia Lane, and Reverend Reginald Tucker. I know, I know. Pastor Brown served as the pastor of Springfield for nine years until 1984. We are again fasting and praying for God to send us another leader. We continue to move forward by faith and following the internal ministers. We had Reverend James Lane, Reverend Georgia Lane, Reverend Joseph Harris, and Reverend Reginald Tucker. The ministrations of affairs was carried out under the chairman, Deacon J. Frank Gibbs. Springfield celebrated its golden 50th year anniversary during this time. The Lord answered our prayers again with the late Reverend Larry B. Chews was elected the fourth pastor of Springfield Missionary Baptist Church on October 12, 1985, Pastor Chews was installed on March 16, 1986. Pastor Chews was the effective, effective leader, although his time of service was short. The following organizations was organized and things accomplished under his leadership. There were the Inspirational Assembly, the Matrons, Men's Fellowship, and initiated the purchase of, uh, initiated the purchase of a church bus. Finance grew to over six figures. 137 members joined, and 53 were baptized. Pastor Chu's theme, much prayer, much power, little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. In which these words are still echoed in the, echoes in the church pastors today. The Lord called Pastor Chu's served for one year and eight months before moving from labor to reward on Tuesday, June 16, 1987. Again, our hearts were said by the removal of a great leader. We have sought the one who we promised to never leave us again. I'm sorry, promised to leave from June 80, 1987 to June 1988. Then, he answered the late Reverend James. Elaine was elected the fifth pastor of Springfield Missionary Baptist Church. On June 6, 1988, Pastor Lane was installed on September 11, 1988, which one year the pastor led his congregation on the trip to the Holy Land, Holy Land, Israel. August of 1989, he licensed two ministers and ordained three deacons. Reverend Moses Butler, Reverend Jane Frank Gibbs, Reverend Curtis Merck Williams, Deacon, I'm sorry, Deacon Curtis Williams, Deacon Leon, Leon Williams, and Deacon Robert Foster. September of 1989, Pastor Lane held his soul serving spring revival conducted by Reverend Katie Nugent. Pastor Lane was the enthusiastic support established in honors of the late Reverend L.M. Geter. 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 
I'm going to get this before this night is, this night is over. An educational scholarship fund. Pastor Lane led the church to the following with other churches in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Mississippi. The third edition was added to the expansion of what is now the new church. Facility was completed in 1933. Classrooms along with renovations in the basements areas are completed. Pastor Lane organized the following organizations. Women Networks, Youth Department, Young Adult Bible Studies. Pastor James A. Lane served for nine years and seven months before he has answered the call and the Savior on Wednesday, February 3rd, 1999. Our hearts were left in grief, but God is soon to answer the need of the pastor. Reverend Fred E. Harris, Jr. was elected the sixth pastor of Springfield Missionary Baptist Church on April 29th, year 2000. Under his leadership, the following organizations were organized. The Women's Ministry, the Drill Team, Little Garagola Little Dance Troop, a numerous amount of baptisms. Pastor Harris Jr. served for six years and six and four months before he resigned as a pastor. Reverend Christopher J. Murray was elected the seventh pastor of Senior Springfield Missionary Baptist Church on January 2nd, 2007. Pastor Murray organized the Voices of Springfield Choir, renamed the basement area, and the Reverend L. M. Geeter, Geeter. <laughs> Fellowship Hall in the honor of Pastor Geeter <laughs> in 2009, and the Dreamers and the Conquerors Ministry. Pastor Murray served three years and five months before he resigned as pastor. Springfield went into fasting and praying. Again, for a leader who will take us higher, to a higher level, in the next dimension. Reverend Emmett T. William III. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, let me repeat that again. Reverend Emmett T. William III was elected the yeah. yeah. pastor of Springfield Missionary Baptist Church. Pastor William III accepted the call on January 10, 2011, and was officially installed on Sunday, May 29th. Hail once, 2011. He immediately became an active voice in the Evanston community, initiating the lead of the prayer vigils to hail once a month on the streets beginning each spring through the late fall, bridging our churches and communities together that we might eliminate violence. Under Pastor Williams III, leadership will have become increasingly more active in our community. The following has been done under pastor leadership thus far. Purchased and paid off a new organ and air conditioned unit. Ordained two deacons, Brother Melvin McCullough, who is now Minister Melvin McCullough. Brother James Cox, who is now Minister James Cox. Parking lot was paved along with new wall-to-wall -wall carpeting added. Congregations had expanded experience growth, revised and implemented new ministries to enhance church growth, created our church mission statement, website, and organized a media ministry, reconstructed our Christian education department, initiated soul-saving revivals. Over 300 members had joined under Pastor Williams lead, uh, third the leadership. Did you hear me? Over 300 members yeah. has joined our under pastor in the third leadership. Over 150 have been baptized in Christ. Oh, yeah. Received his doctorate degree in strength in Springfield in 2017. Yes, God is not yeah. done with Reverend Emmett T. Williams III. Yes, our senior pastor was given vision by God known as Phase 2 to add more ministers to meet the fulfillment of mankind. The mind, body, and soul along with renovation are, are complete. Facilities, purchase a new church bus, uh, acquiring property to help our congregates, to congress, to congregate and communi communities, and repayment of our parking lot. The vision will come to pass by faith. Amen? Yeah. Jesus was carry us through. As we continue to be the lighthouse in this community for generations and ages to come, 
Springfield Missionary Baptist Church stands as a beautiful living testimony of the works and the power of God. Therefore, we will continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise today. My soul is happy. Amen. I don't know how you all feel, but my soul is happy. Hallelujah. Yes. So grateful to be here today celebrating our churches. 86 year anniversary. Amen. 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 And I'm even more grateful that those of you who are here by way of person, those of you who are viewing us by way of Facebook, and those of you who are on the teleconference line today, I am so grateful that you are here with us today. Amen. 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 I want to take a moment and ask that we remember those who have labored in this church. Amen. Those who have shared in this church. Those who are gone on now. Amen. Amen. Who have sold seeds yes. that we are reaping today. Amen. Yeah. We've had some great laborers yeah. to go on before us. Yeah. And I just want to take a moment as we remember them. Precious memory. Watch out. Watch out. Ah. They linger How They Ever Flood my soul Thank you. 
And let us know that you're worshiping with us as we celebrate our church's 86th year anniversary. Come on, praise the Lord. Oh, 
Becoming undignified for the Lord. Amen. Amen. I believe it is becoming undignified for the Lord because when I look where He brought me from, see how far I've come. Amen. I can't help but to tell Him thank you. And I don't care who hit me, I don't care who mad about it. You don't know what He's done for me. You don't know the story. You don't know what He brought me to. Ah! We got a preacher, but I feel him in this place. I feel him in this place. Bless his name. Bless his name. Amen. I'm grateful to be the pastor of this great church. Amen. And I thank all of you, Springfield disciples, for being with your pastor and being with your church. Even during this pandemic. I must say, you all haven't missed a beat. And I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that my 10 years of teaching has not gone in vain. Amen. 
Amen. I'm grateful to the Lord today. I'm not going to hold you long. Amen. This young man is no stranger to our church. He is my brother. He is my friend. And the Bible says in order to gain friends, you got to first show yourself friendly. Amen. And he is a friendly individual. Amen. I'm asking those who are viewing, please share, please share. Share with family, friends, and even share with foes. Amen. Amen. The Bible teaches us to love our enemies. Amen. And I want our enemies to see what the Lord is doing for us. Amen. So share it with everybody. Let everybody see how God has blessed you. All right. I want to thank God for you all so much. And thank you all so much for being a part of us. Those who are on teleconference, those who are online, those who are on stream. We thank God for you. I am not going to hold this preacher any longer. He will in turn do whatever he want to do. He going to preach. He going to shout. He going to raise offering. Whatever he want to do. He can do it because he is at home. Amen. He's no stranger to our church or to our ministry. And I'm grateful to call him my brother. I am going to loose him and let him go. But he is the proud pastor of the Greater Christian Fellowship. Missionary Baptist Church Fellowship. Y'all in the house? Amen. Amen. And we're going to loose him and let him go. None other than the pastor, my brother, Dr. Valdemir Gavin. Come on, preach, man. Come on, can we all say amen? I bet you know the Lord is good. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, let me, let me stay in my own lane. With your hands lifted for one minute as we get ready to progress and move in the way of God's word. It is when we lift our hands, we open our hearts, and we say unto God that it is this posture, God, that we call on your name. We worship you. And so it is the lifting of my hands that signifies to the enemy that I surrender all unto God. How many know that if anybody can handle it, it's God. So if you don't mind, would you just open your mouth? While your hands are lifted, your mouth ought to be open. Come on, help us. Everybody, we, as we speak well of God, come on, everybody ought to be saying something. Come on, you ain't got nothing else to say. Thank you for waking you up this morning. Come on, while my hands are lifted, my heart is open, and I say unto God that there is no other God. I agree with Psalm 78, verse 19, that says he can. Now, it's customary in the Bible that after we would worship God, we would drop our hands and praise God. Come on now, would y'all help me praise the Lord, everybody? I need y'all to make some noise to help me, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. We, we, we are grateful. We're grateful to God for what he has done for this church. 86 years is something to be proud of. Something to celebrate. Would y'all help me celebrate 86 years, everybody? Amen. Even, even if you're watching, you ought to be clapping. If you're watching and you're in the building, you ought to be watching. I, I, am, I am convinced, Pastor, yes, sir. Um, that God is an advocate of time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he, he, he blesses time. Uh, he believes in seasons. Yes, when it's spring, summer, fall. He's infinite in what he does. And the reality of it is he's before time. And then he's after time. So if he's before it, he sets it in order before it never gets to you. And then if he's after it, he'll never let it leave until he get it where he wants it to be. If you don't mind, would you help me? Just point at somebody across the room and tell them God's timing is the right timing. It's the right timing. It's the right timing. It's interesting. 
grateful that y'all got excuses because I feel God now. Yes. 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 God, God, he's, he's prone. He's prone on timing. So I want to say it's not by happenstance. And I don't know all of your business, but I've heard eight pastors, and I've got enough sense to know that the eight pastors, you've had some ups and some downs. You've had some splits and some disappointments. But the reality of it is, is that when God is on your side, y'all better listen to me go now. When God, when God is on your side, who can be against you? So I want to say to Springfield, you all have something to celebrate. And we're here to celebrate with you. Fellowships in the house, if they're watching, we're here to celebrate with you. So we got a God. I, then I, I am super excited um, to come and to get a chance to hang out with my brother. Bless you, boy. Amen. Bless you, boy. Dr. Bless M. T. You, Williams. Bless this you. is a preaching machine. This is my, this is my boy. It's not often that you find people who are genuine with you. Um, I, I will say this. All of our conversations, um, Calvin, are not always in agreement. Amen. But we don't we don't fall out because we don't see eye to eye. Right. At, right. at the end of the day, you can't be my friend if you can't tell me when I'm wrong. I can't be your friend right. if I tell you when you're wrong. So I, I I am I am grateful. I am grateful and thankful um, for you, Pastor. We had a conversation this morning, and uh, we were talking about. I'm a well-known preacher, and I said, well, since I'm your boy, I, I will put you before him. And I said that, and really, to tell the truth, if he wasn't my boy, he would still be before him. Amen. That's a world, well-known preacher. And um, I believe this. People celebrate those who they celebrate. So I'm grateful um, for everything. Um, that we've seen. Would y'all help me say the Lord is good? The Lord is good. I, I, I want to. Can I lift the orphan after? Can I do that, Pastor? All right. Yeah, I'm in charge. So I am. All right. I'm in charge. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, let me just. Let me give what God has given me. I, I, I believe. I believe that sometimes. Um, We, when, when we hear God and God begin to speak to us, even at times of celebration, you've got to know what to say yes, at yes, the sir. celebration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've got to know to say what's, what God gives to say because at the end of the day, the reality of what we're doing is all about God. Now, I, need, I know everybody not going to be with this because most people want to be on parade when they come to church because they can't parade at home. They can't parade on that job. So when they come to church and get a little position, they want to parade. And let me just bust everybody bubble and set the record straight. Everything we do in the church house, we do it unto God. Come on, I need y'all to help me now. You watch me. I need you to put in there. We do it unto God. We do it unto God at the end of the day it's what he gives us I am excited about what God is doing I believe this is the year of fulfillment I believe this is the year God has though he fulfills all the time sometimes in different seasons he fulfills at other levels and um, I believe he's going to do what he said he's going to can I ask you this and I'm going I'm going, how, how many believe God is going to keep his promises yeah. Yeah. concerning you? Come on, y'all better help me. Do me a favor. As a matter of fact, point at somebody and tell him he's already done enough. Come on, y'all better lose me. Come on. Point at somebody else that act like they want the Lord and tell him he's already done enough. <laughs> He's going to do more. Yes, Amen. Let me invite your attention right. to the book of Acts. Yeah. Book of Acts. Chapter 3. 
What about this? God's will. What I want now. His will. What I want for my life. Anybody believe that? Yeah. God's will. Yeah. What I want. Will is what I want for my life. Anybody believe God can set things in order if you just listen to Him? I'm pretty sure after 86 years, you've had to be somewhere in His will. Why don't you just look at somebody and tell them His will is what I want for my life? Acts chapter 3, verse 7. And yeah. Amen. And I, and I, and I, that was for me, y'all. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 3. Amen. Verse 7 and verse 8. Amen. Yes, Lord, when you have it, say amen. 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 Don't have it. Say, wait a minute. All right. Let me read it. And it says, and he looked and he took him by the right hand uh -huh. and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising God. Let me read, let me read verse 8 again that says, And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them. Somebody shout into the church. Into the church. Walking and leaping and praising who? God. I want to talk about for the time we have allotted on this evening. I want to talk about the church is still the place to be in. Amen. 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 Yeah. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, neighbor. The, church the church is still the place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still the place. To be yes. church house, the exactly of the call out set aside is still the place to be. It is my assignment on this afternoon that I would help you to understand, uh, contrary to what people have to say about the church. I come to set the record straight that the church is still the place to be in. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. I, I hear you saying that how, how is the church the place to be when some of your most hypocritical people are in the church? Yes. I, 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 I hear you saying how is it that they come to worship and they lift their hands and they shout and they praise God, and as soon as they get out of the praise and out of the spirit, they're up to their no good. I, I hear what you're saying, and, and to be honest, I agree with you um, to a certain degree. I, I, I agree with you, but I also understand that the same people who are talking about the church is full of hypocrites, I, I, I'm just forced to believe that when you look at their circle of people, I guarantee you that there are some hypocrites in their circle. I, I, I guarantee you that the same people who declare that church people are the worst people got some bad people in the middle of their circle. But the only difference is at least the people who are in the church house have enough sense to come to the hospital to get some help. And your people don't even got enough sense to know that the only way you can get out of where you are is you got to get around God and that's in the church. I still believe that the church is the place uh, you, you ought to be. I, I, I hear you talking. 
Facebook land, uh -huh. and you, 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 you're telling me, uh, Pastor Gavin, how is it that the church is the place to be when it seems like all the church wants is all of your money? <laughs> and y'all got an offering um, before you pray. Y'all got an offering after you pray. Y'all got a poor saint. You got a love offering. You got a basket for time and a basket for offering. How is it that the church house is still the place to be and all they want is your money? Well, I've got to agree with you to a certain degree. But the reality of it is the church house is not the only place getting your money. If, 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 if I was to check your credit card receipts, I declare that Macy would tell us that you were here last night. I, I, if I was to check your credit card receipt, I, I, I just believe Coach Outlet would tell us that you already bought 10 persons and now you're here to buy another one. And watch this, ain't got no money to put in it because you're spending it all on buying. I, I just gotta, I, I gotta believe, I, I don't know, but I gotta believe if you say the tech house is the place that wants all of your money, why did you keep taking it to the casino? You don't say nothing about them, but yet you say something about the church house. Look at somebody and tell them the church is still a place to be. Because, watch this, don't y'all, don't push me too fast. I ain't gonna be long. Uh, uh, it's still a place to be. The church house, you say, want, want your money at least with the church house where you give your money, you have the assurance of God that you will get it back. Help me, God. But, but the Bible says, whatever you sow, you shall reap. You, you, you can't get nothing back from Coach Outlet. You can't get nothing back from Macy's. You can't get nothing back from the casino. But I don't hear you complaining about taking your money to them, but yet you talk about taking it to a place that God has assured your money. And I come to set the reference straight Preach. that the church yes. is still the place to be. I, I, I hear you texting me, and, and I hear you saying that, that I would come to the church, but the pastor ain't right. I, 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 I hear you saying that I really want to come, but the pastor ain't who I thought he was. Watch out, watch out. I, I want to come because I, oh, I, I see all he wanted some of the money that they bring, a fancy car and a nice house, and, and, and I want to come, but pastor has messed up somewhere. And I've got to agree. Sometimes the pastor does mess up. And, and, and sometimes the pastor is not all that you think he is because unfortunately his flesh says or his flesh has the ability to rise over his spirit. But I, I'm confused because you don't want to come to church because the pastor messed up, but you won't leave your house um, when you're... Oh God, I almost said something I should have said. You won't leave your house when that man messed up, when that woman messed up. You keep on taking it and taking your licking and keep on ticking, but you won't come to the house, but you'll go home. What are you preaching, Reverend? You preaching, man. So I'm still convinced yeah. Yeah. that the church yeah. is yeah. where it's at. You know why? Because even though you say they're hypocrites, uh -huh. when you find yourself in a bad situation uh -huh. and you can't get out of it, what you say, them what same you hypocritic say. friends uh -huh. that go to the church house are the ones you call right. and say, would you pray for me? My daughter's having a problem. My God, I feel it. My son is having a problem. So you know why you do it? Because you understand that because they're in the house of God, they're connected to God, and they got some power. Same place, same place that you declare all they want is the money. Yeah, Reverend. Yeah, Reverend. When your money runs out, that's just the place, Reverend. That's right. Watch out now. When, when, when you spit all you can and your likes to do, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you're calling the place. Watch out now. Place. Same place that you don't want to give it to. Uh -huh. Yeah, Reverend. Because you can't go to Macy and get no return. Uh -huh. you, you can't go 
come to the casino and they give you money back you lost. But yet you come to the church and remind the church how much you gave three years ago and you think we're supposed to jump on board. The church is still the place. The pastor, that low down pastor that you call him. Come on, that's me. That's me, that, that, that pastor who, who, who has failed um, when you find yourself. Yeah. When your house is in shambles, don't you talk about them behind your back? Don't you talk about them on Facebook just trying to hide? That's How you gonna hide on Facebook and you mention the names that you know is associated with who's there? That same person when your son or daughter gets in a fix, you don't call. You don't call the counselors. You call who your pastor. That's no doubt when it messed up. You call him when your husband is acting up. You find yourself at a place where you say, I need some help. You know why? Yes, Because you understand that the pastor is not under the authority of himself. But rather he's under the authority of God. He, he, he's, we call him the shepherd, but really he's the under shepherd. Because everything he needs, when he needs and he calls on God, God makes sure that God. That's why the church is still the place to be. Because the church still got power. Look at somebody and tell them we still got power. Y'all do know. Y'all do know even in a pandemic. Yes, sir. We got power. We still got power. Yes, yes. Even, even in the midst of our storms and our trials, if they're going to really make it, some people you can't call on, but I guarantee if you call on the Lord, he will hear and answer your call. Have I got any witness around here that can testify? Can't nobody do me like me. to what 
I said, as long as you are around God, yeah. Yeah. sooner or later yeah. something got to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost yeah. right back here. So, sometimes yeah. Yeah. You, if, if you're around him yeah. with your hypocrite way, Come on. if you stay close enough to the oh. temple, sooner or later someone has to come with the power and the authority yeah. of God and say, get up from that bed. Yeah. Watch this. Preach, man. This I never forget. Hallelujah. Mary used to come to our church. I'm a saying, man. Booker used to come drunk every Sunday. I hear you, Reverend. He would come to the church smelling like alcohol. Uh huh. And we didn't put him out. That's it. Uh, because as long as he came, yes. the Lord could deal with him. Yes. 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 We weren't judgmental. Come, Come here for y'all on Facebook land now. now. Because y'all got a habit of judging people because they don't dress like you dress. They don't look like you look. Talk like you talk. But at the end of the day, we didn't judge him because of his issue. We let him come and treat him with respect. Yeah. What's this? One Sunday, he comes in. Uh -huh. Not with his button up shirt and blue jeans, but he comes in with his kind hey. Hey. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he's not smelling like he's not smelling like Watch out. what do you to smell like oh, and that is to suggest to me because he kept coming to the church oh. sooner or later he was going to have to get himself together yes. and can I stop right here to tell y'all that there are some of you all who keep on coming and it seems like you're getting no better can I tell you this? Whatever you're doing, sir, whatever you're doing, ma'am, keep on coming to the church. Because at the end of the day, if you hang around the fire long enough, you're going to finally get some smoke. They bring him. Bible. And y'all stop looking around at the people that are around you. Look at yourself. You're just like this man. You got a ugly situation, but you keep on coming every Sunday. You got a bad disposition, but you keep on coming every Sunday. You got a gossiping spirit, but you keep on coming every Sunday. Why don't you preach? Preach. Daily. Because they understood, and whether you know it or not, it was legal back then for them to beg. Uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. You had to either be crippled uh -huh. or unemployed, uh -huh. and you could you could beg without being harassed. Watch out! Watch out! All right, okay. all right. Um, they bring him to this place. Come here, sweetie, begging. And this particular day, uh -huh. it was at the ninth hour. Uh -huh. What did uh -huh. you say, man? It, it was at the hour of the second phase of prayer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. That Peter now, now sees him. Uh -huh. Obviously, they had been coming because now Jesus has ascended uh -huh. into heaven, uh -huh. and the Holy Ghost has been loose. All right, all right. Here it is. This is the first place. First place. Bro. After. They're in the upper room. Mm. After he preaches, yeah. this is the place yes, sir. where God manifests that he would be with his people. Yeah. Watch out, watch out. Yeah. Interesting, Dennis. Yeah. He did not manifest it at the house. Uh -huh. you say, he, he did not manifest it on the road. Watch out, watch out. Yeah. But he manifests his power. Yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody shout at the church. At the church. At the church. At the church. It, it, it's because. God, God is not limited. Do I got a little bit more time? Man, take over, he, he, God, God, God is not limited yes, to the church. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But yet the church is the place yes, where God says, I'll meet you at the appointed time. Yes. I, I'll meet you at this place. Not that I need this place because I'm so big you can't go over me. I'm so tall you yes. can't go around me. So wide you can't go over me. But at the end of the day, this is the place I told you I'll meet you there. Yes. And I'm going to say this. It's a poor church that God don't never show up. All right. All right. All right. Say it again, man. Come on. And, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm going to help somebody because most people think that how we identify 
like God showing up is when we can shout. <laughs> when we identify Watch out, God. the presence of God, uh-huh. I'm not at home, I can't be teaching Man, like you that. Home, <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you cannot identify Come on now. the presence of God based on how emotional you get. Watch out. Watch out now. Can, can I help you? Yes, sir. Because you can go and hear Beyonce uh-huh. and get emotional. <laughs> you, you can go hear Michael Jackson when he was alive and get emotional. As a matter of fact, you can go hit the Angelo uh-huh. and get emotional. Yeah. I hear y'all women. Why you ain't say no women? You can go hear Erica Badu talking about Carl Tyrone and you'll get emotional. <laughs> but the difference between God's power and emotions is the Bible says it destroys the yoke. Yeah. When you get to the presence yeah. of God, it not only gets you emotional, but when you get home, you be saying to yourself, I don't want to do that no more. Yeah. Why can't happen? Because now my emotions are under control. Watch your hand, brother. Watch your hand, brother. You preaching it. She's there. Preaching it. She's there. And, Preach, and, man. And first of all, uh, before they can get him to his church, yeah. <laughs> he, he meets the right people. He connects. Uh-huh. With the right people. Uh-huh. Right people. Hey, you, you cannot expect God to change your situation Watch out. All right. Watch out. with the wrong people. Come on now. I, I cannot say uh, I don't want to smoke. And I hang with smokers. <laughs> That's the same. Come on. Y'all got to fix it. That's not right. I, I cannot say, um, um, I, I, I want to be delivered from that man or delivered from that woman, but every time they call, we get to move it. Oh, my God. What you say, Rabbi? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Preach. Got to make sure. Y'all excuse me now. I got to make sure. That, 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 Preach, man. If God's going to deal with me, uh-huh. I've got to connect with the right people. That's right. That's right. That's right. I, I, I cannot go any higher hanging with people who are glad to be low. All right. 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 MLP ministry, I hear you. I got to learn how to soar with the eagles, not hang with the chickens. Come look at somebody. Sometimes. You gotta expand your, you gotta expand your horizon and open your arms. Stop hanging with chickens, pick it on the ground, and get with the eagles that know how to fly. All the God has. Yes. Preach, man. Preach. Watch out. Watch out. Got to meet the right people. Said that now, because obviously, Calvin. If they brought him every day uh-huh. to beg for arms, uh-huh. they was either bringing him, one, because they loved him, uh-huh. two, because they were getting something from it, yeah, that's right. or three, because they were in the same place. Uh-huh. And bringing them did not change him. Uh-huh. Not at all. What changed him was when he connected yes, sir. with the right people. Yeah, yeah. God, I need y'all to help me here. Yeah, he he connected yeah, with yeah. the right people. Yeah. Preach, man. Says that this time at the ninth hour, yeah. I feel my help coming. This time at the ninth hour, yeah, what they did was they did something different. What did you have? They fastened their eyes on this man. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Can I suggest something to you? Tell that us. as believers, uh-huh. sometimes you gotta stop. Enabling people, uh-huh. and you gotta change your perspective yeah. on how they God help me preach this. Sometimes you gotta, you, you can't keep looking at it walking by like it's gonna change on its own. If you say you got the authority of God, you say you got the power of God. Some situation, you gotta look up and tell them it's time to change. I cannot say. That I am a follower of God. Hey, hey. And that never changed around me. Yeah. 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 
interesting. That it says Peter and John changes their focus now. Uh, because obviously they had given the man something before. It's just me using my imagination. Because they know where he's at. And this time, when they, when they talked to him, they said, we ain't got no more money. Uh -huh. Silver and gold. I, I ain't got nothing left to give you. Because I realize if I keep giving you my money, you're gonna not gonna never get healed. That's it. But I'll still be giving you my money. Still be giving you my money. But if I can get you up from here, yes, sir. Then you can work for your own money. Talk, all right, all right, all right. Talk, 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 I mean, it's my connection. It's my connection with the people that are around me that dictates what's gonna happen. All right, say that. Come on. Come on. Uh, I was looking at Instagram and I was laughing because this, this man came on there and he said, he said, you you want me to show you your future? Show me your friends. He said, you want me to show you your future? Yeah, show me your friends. That's good preacher. It suggests, Pastor, that there are sometimes. I don't need you to have a pity party with me. Yes, sir. If you are connected to me, I need you sometimes to tell me, pick your head up, pull yourself up by your bootstrap, get your mind right, stop complaining, stop talking all of that mess, and start thinking positive and let God change it. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not only does the text show that he connects with the right people. Yeah. But watch this. They took him to the right place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know if y'all ever saw this cartoon. It was called Underdog. Yes. <laughs> I know that might be a little too yeah. yeah. old for some people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they would say when it was time for Underdog to put on his cape uh -huh. and become the hero. Uh -huh. They would say, this is a job. A hundred times. <laughs> and, and, and watch this. When you heard that, you knew something was getting ready to happen. <laughs> because they would cut everything on the show. And they would show underdog. When he would step up, they'll say, This is a job. Underdog. Watch this. They took him to the right place, which was the church. That was to suggest this is a job for Jesus. Oh, yeah. my God. I need y'all to help me. They, 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 they took him to the right place. They didn't take him to the club. What you say, Reverend? They didn't take him to the mall. What you say, Reverend? They took him to the right place. That was the church house. Yes, sir. It was to suggest uh -huh. that I connected with you yeah. and help you get up, yeah. but I can't sustain you. Uh -huh. So let me take you to somebody who can, yeah. and his name is Jesus. Why, yeah. why don't y'all help me? Is there anybody here that knows that Jesus still got power? Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't like y'all attitude around here. Point at somebody and tell them he still got power. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody shout, this is a job for Jesus. Yes, they, they got him up, but they couldn't sustain him. Uh -huh. They had to get him to a person who could. Uh -huh. right. Now watch this, because the custom was that before you could enter the temple, uh -huh. Especially if you were lame yeah. or you had leprosy, all right. Um, you had to go to what was known as the leaping chamber. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. The right. leaping chamber was the place mm -hmm. that the priest had to sit in, mm -hmm. and he had to send a letter to decree that you were fit to go around other people. Watch oh, your right. Oh, Watch your right. It's, it's the leaping chamber, leaping chamber. That, that, that he had to, to say, I feel God, that, that he had to say uh, whether or not you can walk in worship. Watch out. That's right. But he does something different. What do you do, He does not wait till he's cleared to leap. Watch out. What do you do, Reverend? The Bible says. That he goes in the door. Uh -huh. Leap. Leaping. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. I need y'all to get this. God, I need to get this. 
Yes, no, 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 no. Yes, sir. But what he does is what? because he know now what he's know? been healed. Yeah. <laughs> so because he know he's been healed, delivered, and set free. Yes, oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He does not need the opinion of anybody. Come on, man. Preach. So the Bible says that what he does is that he goes to the place as if it's already done. And he starts leaping to say, God, you've already done it. And that's what I need to tell some of y'all is that you don't have to wait till the battle is over. Point at somebody and tell them you can shout right now. Oh, that was weak. Look at them again and tell them, neighbor, whatever your ugly situation is, we serve a God that if you believe, He can pull you through. You might as well go ahead and leave for God. I know that my God will provide for me. And that's what I want to tell you. Don't wait to hear from anybody. Walk in the door like it's already done. The Bible says that he leaped. Watch this. Not only did he leave Dennis. But the Bible says yeah. he stopped praising God. Hey. And that's what I want to tell you. That's what the church will do. If you get connected to God, he will allow you to lead and praise God. He will the whole of praise. That's what he does. That's why the church is the place to be. Look at somebody and tell them. I got power. Oh, that's weak. Come on, look at somebody and tell a neighbor. I got power to stand right. Power to stand right. There's healing. Power to deliver us. Power. Well, in the dead, I'm glad you are. It's right in. Look at somebody and tell them it's in the church. Oh, that's sweet. Come on, tell them it's in the church. But let me say this. And I'm done. The thing that I love is this, Dennis. Is that after he praised God? Come on, now, come on. The next verse, verse nine, says, "What did it say? That his enemy looks, yeah. uh -huh. his friend looks, uh -huh. and say, what is the man <laughs> sitting on the roadside? That's it, right there, begging for arms." Uh -huh. It must be a miracle. Yeah. It's got to be a miracle. Yeah. And that's what I want to tell you as I leave here. Is that when God gets through doing it for you, yeah. your family and friends are going to be saying yeah. on Facebook, yeah. going to be saying yeah. on Instagram, yeah. going to be saying yeah. at the kitchen table. Yeah. It must be. Yeah. It's got to be. Tell a neighbor, 
I made it through the leaping chain. Come on, tell them I made it through the leaping chain. Now all I got to do is walk in the church. Walk in the place where God is. For the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you don't mind looking at somebody. Look at somebody. Look at somebody. And just tell them I've gone through the fire. Yes, Lord. Tell them I've been through the fire. Yes, Lord. How many know that's the truth? Anybody ever been there? Yes, sir. Anybody ever been there? Yes, sir. I know some of y'all don't want everybody to know your business. But the reality of it is all of us have been in our lowest point. Yes, sir. All of us have been at the lowest point. But now that we've made it, we don't look at anybody as if they're the only one. But what we do is we shout for what God has brought us from. That's why we're not ashamed. Hallelujah. Through the fire and I through the flood, yeah. I've been broken through into pieces. Mm-hmm. I did Thank you. From my That's it. Thank you. But through it all, yeah. I remember yeah. that He loved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he came, and he'll never put my feet in there. One more time for the top. Yeah. Come on, y'all, help me get out. Go on, I'm going to through the fire. And I through the blood, I've been broken into pieces, lightning flashing from a love, but through it all, I remember that God loves me, that he cares. And he'll never put my And he'll never And he'll never Put my own me And he'll never And he'll never Put my own me And he'll never Put my own me He'll never Put my own me
Hey, 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 hey,
Hail the Lord, do me like that. That in there. Tell him I'm glad God God is not like man. He's God not like man. Not like man. He's not like man. At the end of the day, Pastor, God gives you and me yes, sir. another chance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some people will hate it. Oh, yeah. Some people will hate it because they've already written you off. I wish I had That's right. They've already taken. That's right. And said that Gavin ain't going to last. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Yeah, you can put me in there. Uh, <laughs> That's the image. Yeah. Ain't gonna last. That's what they said. That's what they said. Yes, sir. No matter of fact, y'all looking at us, they said some of y'all ain't gonna last. That's what they said. But I come to set the record straight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The record is this. That we're under shepherds to God. That's right. That's right. And when your heart is in the right place. Yes, sir. Even when your body gets out of pocket, it's God that kicks it back in line. Yeah, I'm out. Preach, man. Tell it. And you do yourself more harm. You talk about the church and the pastor. What you say? You do yourself more harm. You talk about the church and the pastor. Yes, sir. Because then you talk about God. That's right. That's right. That's right. And whenever you involve God, yeah. you put yourself. In risk of dying. Some of y'all are wondering why you're sick. Come on now, come on. You're not sick because of a physical ailment. But when you talk about God, and you talk about the church, and his preacher, you talk about God, and you offend God. You offend God. He's been known to destroy whole cities for yeah. offending him. Yes, sir. He's yeah. killed whole families for offending him. Yeah. You're right about that, Richard. Oh, yeah. You're sure right. He's sure oh, yeah. right. Yeah. He's done that. You when you follow from? your leader, watch this, and I'm done, I don't even know where it's coming from. No, man, just talk. The Lord when you follow your leader, uh -huh. Uh -huh. now I'm talking about the church now, Come when on, the man. church follow your leader, uh -huh. if you find your pastor in a bad place, you need to make it your business. That's right. That's to get on the phone. That's right. But if I think the devil is after him, my job is to pray, Lord, keep him out of that spirit. Come on, come on. Come 
and you preach it I, all I, over I, I, I love it. I don't mean to do it. We have to offer trades. I love this. I I love I I love um I love I love my people, you know, um, and they I will call them and I word, but I believe in my heart that I got some folks that are around me. Not all of them, remember, I ain't dumb enough to know, I know to think right. everybody's around me. I know that's but I got right. enough people that are on me. Yeah. When it looks like there's a snare coming, yes, sir. Yeah. they don't get on the phone, get on Facebook. Yeah. They get on their knees. Oh, 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 and say, God, he needs your help through this. Yeah. Oh, I need your help. I need your help. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. He looks like he's about to lose it. Yes, oh, sir. God, he needs you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's what we do for them. They don't. They'll never know it. That's right. That's, that's what, we exactly what we do for them. As long as we hear something, that God bless that brother. That's right. God cover that brother. That's right. Cover that sister. That's right. And that's what church is all about. That's what it's all about. That's why the church is still the place to be. Yes, sir. Why? Yes, sir. Let me end when I say this because God is the head of the church. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes sir. Right. He is. I'm done. He's the head of the church. Yeah. That's why the church is still the place. Amen. I'll take the offering, the basket, please. Pastor, I'm not sure how you're doing one tray or two trays. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Okay. Can I have this? Yes, sir. Because I, I want to do something different. I just I just feel late. Let's let's do our general offering. This is this is from fellowship, okay? Okay, I'll put your name on it. I know you. So don't think you're gonna gain money to your own church. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask Pastor to hold this. If you don't mind, Pastor, I'm in charge, right? You in charge? All right. So this this is this is the general offering. Lady, did you leave your dollar? God bless you. Come on, go ahead for they leave you, baby. I'll put it in for you. Get back to me in three weeks. <laughs> That's right. This is for her pastor. Thank you. I really was just talking, but thank you. We're gonna hold it to you, but I want to do something. Y'all, whoever's gonna give, can y'all can y'all just move fast and come? Everybody's gonna give. Whatever you're gonna give. I know y'all got an assessment. I know y'all got something that y'all do. $150. I don't know if it's general offering. General offering, yes. General offering. Are we still on? Are we still on live? I know the ways to give are up, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ways to give up. I just want y'all to bring it and smile when you bring it. <laughs> there you go. That's it. All right. Bless you. Bless you. Bless Thank you. y'all so much. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Pastor Bless Nicole, you. I love you. Bless Missionary you. Gill, I love you. Bless you. Bless you. The one and only Miss Ball, I love you. And my boo boo Mariana, I love you. They didn't eat them gone. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. I, I want to, I, Pastor, can I, I'm not, I hope I'm not out of order. I said you do what you told me, sir. I know I'm doing, I'm going to change. Yes, sir. You getting that to war? Yes, sir. To war? Yes, sir. All right. Can I have this, sir? Yes, sir. I, I, I want to do something, because usually, at the church anniversary, we disconnect the pastor from the church. And he didn't ask me to do this. I want to do it because I want to do it. All right. Let me hold this. I want y'all to help me. Can you hear that? Can you hold it? Yeah. All right. All right. Now, lady, you get that to me. I'm going to get that to you. I want y'all to help me bless the man of God. Help me bless. Hold on. I got something. Put it on. Put it on. <laughs> Put it on. Put it on. I will now. <laughs> if it ain't right, I'm going to put it all in there. <laughs> if I put all mine, put all yours. I'm with it. All right. That's fine. Y'all come on up here. Y'all don't need y'all. Don't think about it. Y'all just come on. This is for the pastor. This ain't for the church. Everybody should be moving with something. Wow. That's for the pastor. Yeah, that's that's him. That's just we just listing him. That's all. You want to do some personal for him? Oh, I like that. I like that. Bless y'all. Bless y'all. I appreciate that. Well, thank you for the offer. Bless you. 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 That's just. I, let me say this. I did that because I did that because I, I wanted you all to sow a seed um, just in into him. Watch this. 
not for no reason other but to show you what God is going to do for you. All right, all right. Y'all hear what I said? Yes, Y'all see, I didn't ask for an amount, right? That's right. I just wanted everybody to give something so that you will sow a seed in here. Let me get this testimony, and I'm done, Pastor. You in, you in charge. You in charge. I don't even know what's in there. I hope that I'm going to bless it all at the end. Uh, but I want to say this because somebody else might want to give when they hear this. And my missionary and um, this is prayer warrior right here. And they, this ball, this is ball. And then this is my co-pastor, Pastor Nicole. Amen. Uh, Amen. Our, our musicians, when the pandemic first started, Pastor, some days they didn't get paid. Didn't get paid. Never complained. Wow. And one day God led me, because I didn't have nothing to give them. And God led me to pray for them uh -huh. that he would increase them. This was what? How long ago was this? Four, five months ago, whatever it was. And ever since then, the Lord has been blessing me. You know, strange because this morning in morning prayer, I'm getting ready to pray and they want to testify. And then it said, and for the last two months, I wanted God to do something for me. On pastoral day, I just gave twenty five dollars. I gave extra. What I'm supposed to do? And the Lord blessed me. I was getting checks in my box that I didn't know I was getting. Oh, That's what you do. Calvin came in one do. day and cried. He came in and cried before we prayed. Went to hug me like a little baby, and he older than me. And he said, Pastor, ever since you said that, the Lord has been blessing. Now this morning he comes in and says that he got a check, and the check was so much greater than what it should have been. Um, that he thought they made a mistake on the check and called them and said, y'all gave me too much money. They said, no, we're just giving you the same amount you make at your regular job that you're doing here. Can I tell you this? Whatever you do your job with the church and with the men of God, God will take care of you. Don't never try to figure out what they're doing. All right. You give it because you're telling God, I'm giving it as unto you. The Bible says you, when you give unto the men of God, you give unto your account. Right. In other words, God keeps an account of what you do. Yeah. And when you don't think you got nothing, and that's a whole other sermon, you're poor. You're poor. So, God bless you. Father, we thank you for this time to give. We honor you, God, for how great you are. Thank you for everybody that's given. God, I really want to pray for the people that made the sacrifice, the sacrificial offering. I pray that you would see that whatever you gave, so you'll know that God is real. Yes. Yes. And God will give it back to you. Yes. A hundredfold. Yes. And it don't take him long. We thank you now for what you're thank going you to God. do. Thank you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Everybody that trusts God, just shout amen. amen. I want you to stand on your feet, put your hands together for the pastor of this church. Yes. My friend, my brother, doctor. Give it, see, Williams. Come on. Would y'all say, man, as he come? Come on, praise the Lord for this man to go. Come on, praise God for him. Amen, amen. Listen, thank you all so much. Thank you, Pastor Gavin. You all may be seated for a moment for sharing with us on this blessed Sunday. I know we went over our regular time, but it's worth it. Amen. It's worth it. Amen. Amen. It's worth it. I praise the Lord for Pastor Valdemir Gavin. Did he preach to us? I want to do one thing, though, I must do. Those of you who may not have a church home, who may not have a relationship with God, who may not know the Lord for yourself, and you want to know him better, we extend an invitation to you. We ask you, my brother, my sister, if you will give your life to the Lord, if you would like to become a part of this church, we would love to have you. You can reach us at 847-328-9778. And 847-328-9778. I'm sorry. Yeah, 9778. I didn't get full over here. I didn't get full and drunk off the spirit. Hallelujah. Or you can reach us at 847-328-7142. Or you can inbox us at any given time. I know the Lord will make a way. Oh, yes, he will. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sisters. Oh, I know the Lord will make a way.
the way. Yes, he will. If you'd like to become a part of our family, we'd love to have you. He'll make a way out of no way. He'll turn your midnight, turn them all into brand new days. I know that. Another day that the Lord, He has kept us. Oh, yes, He has. Well, it's just another day that the Lord, He has kept me.